show you this evening is the digital daytime screen. We've set it up outside here, bright blue sky, a little bit of shade on the ground, sun setting further over. But what we've got here is a standard piece of matte white screen. And it's uh, the same that's uh, used worldwide. And as you can see here, where the white area is, there's virtually no image. But what I'm looking at in the background with the ICE digital daytime screen, where we can see the words ICE magic is in the screen, in this area here, we can see an image that is pretty remarkable given that we're only using a standard domestic projector. But the real point to notice is this area in, in here and I want to just move the camera up close and you'll have to excuse the colour banding which is partly a symptom of CRT or DLP I should say and um, on the flip cam here. But what I want you to see is just the difference between the matte white screen here and if I just wheel that out of the way you can see the reflection of the camera in there so what that proves is the light's actually getting there, it's hitting the screen and so the problem with a matte white screen as you can see here is simply hopeless at reflecting light back to the viewer whereas a nice digital daytime screen is actually able to give quite a remarkable image. Now you're not probably seeing the maximum quality that's possible simply because of the exposure settings that's on this flip cam and not having the ability to adjust it and also the ability of the camera to actually be able to record the huge difference in brightness and as you can see up here I mean it's just blue sky so you know we're not making any trickery here here's our projector and just back to the position here so that's what we're really quite keen for you to understand that in actual fact it is possible to get pretty stunning images on a standard projector and as you've just seen here now we're actually outdoors a cloudless evening here in New Zealand the projector is uh, rated at 4000 on a brand, 4000 ANSI lumen on a brand new lamp and uh, we're halfway just over halfway on the lamp life now which is running at just on uh, 1200 hours so nothing fancy about the projector, pretty standard by today's uh, uh, level of projectors. But it's that um, banding over the white screen that I, of the white screen that's coming over the front that I really want you to understand. Now the other thing I've just actually noticed that in fact I've had this projector in economy mode. Here you can see it's in economy mode so we're now going to put it into presentation mode and you could see that um, well certainly to our eyes here we could see the actual brightness actually increased and you're probably still seeing some uh, color banding that's coming and going on the screen there but the important thing as I emphasized before is the matte white screen that's hanging over the side surface is actually extremely poor and probably only reflecting about 10% of the projector light back to the viewer and just to prove that you can see that the light is actually from the projector going there now the next thing we want to show you in fact is the software for using the screens as a scoreboard so let me just bring up the view here now that um, you'll see